It's May 2024, and believe it or not, this is Windows 11 24 H2 Home Edition, not Pro, Home Edition that I'm setting up. And I'm going to show you how you can set it up without a Microsoft account. So as you can see, I'm selecting the language and the keyboard layout, and I don't want to add a second keyboard layout. And I get to this point here and surprisingly enough, you will see I have got an option down there that says I don't have Internet. I can click that and then instead of asking me to sign in with a Microsoft account, it's now going to ask me just for a plain username. I can type in the username and then I can use Windows 11 24 H2 Home Edition without a Microsoft account. Stick around, I'll tell you how to do it in a mo. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So this is probably the screen that you're at just after you've turned your laptop or computer on for the first time. So don't click anything here. What you need to do is you need to hold down the shift key that is just above the CTRL key in the bottom left hand corner of the keyboard and below the caps lock key. It's usually got the word shift on the key or an arrow pointing upwards or both. Hold down the shift key and then tap the F10 key. The F10 key is along the top row of keys on your keyboard. And then once you've done that, you'll get this command prompt window come up. Now just left click once anywhere in the black part of this box and then type OO, that's the letter O, the letter O, not zero, B, E, and this is all in lowercase and no spaces, backslash, by, B, Y, P, A, S, S, N, R, O. Now, a few people have said this has stopped working, but it's working on my Windows 11 24H2 Home Edition. So once you've typed that in, then press enter or return on your keyboard. There's no spaces, all in lowercase and all letters, no numbers. So tap that and the computer will then restart. Now, once the computer has restarted, you should see this screen again, as you probably saw when you first turned the computer on. So once you see, is this the right country or region, make sure that you've selected the right country or region and then click yes in the bottom right hand corner and then select the right keyboard layout and click yes again in the bottom right hand corner and add a second keyboard layer if you want to, or click skip. If you don't, you probably just want to click skip. And at this point it's saying, right, let's name your device. So I'm just going to click skip for now. Now at this point here, if you see the sign in box at the bottom, it means it hasn't worked. So what you want to do is if your computer is connected via an ethernet cable, pull out the ethernet cable, or if it's connected via Wi-Fi, then turn off your Wi-Fi router. And then what you want to do is hold the power button down on your computer for about 10 seconds. The power button is the button you use to turn the computer on until the computer turns off. And then press the power button on the computer once again, and the computer will turn back on. Now make sure that either your ethernet cable is disconnected or make sure if you're connected via Wi-Fi that your modem or Wi-Fi router is turned off also so that it cannot make any connection to the internet. And you're gonna get the setup procedure appear again, just like before. So when it comes up asking you, is this the right country or region? Click on yes in the bottom right hand corner. And then again, select on the keyboard layout that you want and click yes in the bottom right hand corner and add a second keyboard layer if you want to, or skip. And now it's going to try and connect to the network, but 
it can't do it because it's not connected, because it can't connect to a Wi-Fi network. So we now have the option down there, I don't have internet. So move your mouse over, I don't have internet, left click once, and then in a few seconds, hopefully, it should ask us to enter a local username. There you go. And this is not a Microsoft account. So I'm just going to type in my name there and then click next. But incidentally, if this still doesn't work, if you're not getting this come up, then another thing you could try right back at the beginning here is you could turn the computer off again by holding down the power key until it goes off and then turn it back on again. And when you get back to the initial screen asking you to choose your region, then again, hold down the shift key, tap F10, and then click anywhere in the black box just to activate it and type CD O O B E, and then press enter or return on your keyboard. And then you want to type B Y P A S S N R O dot C M D. All in lowercase, no spaces, just as it's shown on the screen here. And then once you've typed that in, press enter or return on your keyboard. The computer will then restart and hopefully then you should end up if you're still not connected to the internet, which hopefully you shouldn't be. So make sure you, either your ethernet cable is still disconnected and make sure that your wireless adapter or wireless modem or router is switched off. So there's no way the laptop or computer can connect to the internet. And then hopefully you should end up with this screen here. And then you can just type in your name, click next. And it's asking here for a password, but you don't need to set one if you don't want to. You can, if you really want, just type in the password. But if you don't want to enter in a password every time you turn your computer on, click next without putting anything in that box. So here it's going to ask Microsoft apps to use your location. If you're not happy with that, click no and then accept. It's going to ask if you want Microsoft to find my device. Again, if you're not happy with it and you're not prepared to use a Microsoft account, then you can't use this feature anyway. So just click no and accept. Um, send data to Microsoft or diagnostic data to Microsoft. Click on required only and click accept. Improving and typing. Well, if you want to, you can click next next but generally I'm going to say no to that and click accept and get tailored experiences with diagnostic data tips and some recommendations you will see will be more generic and maybe less relevant to you if you click no yeah I'm quite happy with that so I'll click no and then accept and let's use advertising ID so I'm just going to click no on that and click accept it's going to carry on the setup now this could take a good few minutes so uh, just be patient with it and hopefully we'll be logging in in a sec with a local account, no Microsoft account, leave your modem switched off just for the moment, just until we're finally logged in to Windows or if you've unplugged your Ethernet cable, then um, leave that unplugged just for the moment. So we're now logged in. Internet is still switched off, as you can see down by the clock. So I'm going to switch it back on now and it could take a few moments to uh, to reconnect. It's now reconnected. That was pretty quick for me just because I unplugged the Ethernet cable there. If I go to settings there and then go to accounts, as you will see, there you go, local account. It's going to prompt me to try and set up a Microsoft account. But what I can do to stop that from happening is if I go into system just over there on the left and notifications. And if I scroll all the way down to the bottom there to additional settings, left click on that little drop down there and then take all of the ticks out of those boxes just there. And then if I go to personalization and scroll down to start just there and then scroll down again and turn off show recommendations for tips, shortcuts, new apps and more, and also turn off show account related notifications. And then I just click on the cross just up there to get rid of that. And there we go. I'm just going to prove that this is Windows 11 Home Edition as well. So if I go back into settings there and then go into system and then scroll all the way down to about and then I'm going to scroll down. 
to Windows specifications. And as you can see there, the edition is Windows 11 Home. The version is 24H2 and I've set it up completely with a local account. Let us know in the comments down below whether this worked for you or not, or if you found another way to get it working an even better way, let us know too in the comments down below. Well, I hope you liked this video, and if it helped you, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, have a look in the description down below if you're looking for a VPN, want to have a look through my Amazon shop, or looking for a Fire TV stick, Fire TV Cube, or Fire Stick accessories. We've got loads of great links down there for you. Buy in, subscribe and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if whilst you're looking through my channel, you see anything you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. If you want to check me out on X, formerly known as Twitter, then I'm at CWTEK. Or if you want to have a look at my website, it's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching and speak to you again soon.